Ghost ships or phantom ships make up a big part of the seafaring law that has been passed down by sailors and fishermen throughout the years. The ships are said to be spectral apparitions that materialize on the horizon before quickly disappearing, and they are believed to be a sign of bad things to come. The term is also used to describe abandoned vessels that are found adrift with no crew or passengers, often under frightening and mysterious circumstances. Whether real stories of these derelict ships or legends about phantom craft trawling the seas, the following are the 10 most famous ghost ships that continue to provoke speculation and mystery in the nautical world. Number 10. The Kaloche One of the most well-known legends of the Chilota mythology of southern Chile describes the Kaloche, a ghost ship that appears every night near the island of Kaloa. According to local legend, the ship is a kind of conscious being that sails the waters around the sea, carrying with it the spirits of all the people who have drowned at sea. When spotted, the Kaloche is said to be strikingly beautiful and bright, and is always accompanied by the sounds of party music and people laughing. After appearing for a few moments, the ship then is said to disappear or submerge itself under the water. Once aboard the phantom ship, the drowned are said to be able to resume their life as it was before they died. Number 9. The SS Valencia the SS Valencia was a steamer ship that sank off the coast of Vancouver, British Columbia in 1906. The ship had encountered bad weather near Cape Mendocino, and after having drifted off course, it struck a reef and began taking on water. The crew quickly began lowering lifeboats, holding the ship's 108 passengers into the water, but several of these capsized, and one simply disappeared. The Valencia eventually sank, and only 37 of the roughly 180 people on board survived. Five months later, a fisherman claimed he had found a life raft with eight skeletons in it in a nearby cave. A search was launched, but it found nothing. Thanks to its dramatic end, the Valencia eventually became the source of numerous ghost ship stories. Sailors often claimed that they could see the spectre of the steamer drifting near the Pachena Point, and to this day the ship is the source of frequent wild theories and ghost ship sightings. In a bizarre twist, 27 years after the sinking of the Valencia, one of its life drafts was found floating peacefully in nearby Barclay Sound. The ghost draft was said to be in remarkable condition, and even still had most of its original coat of paint. Number 8. The Orang Madan The story of the Orang Madan begins in 1947, when two American ships received a distress call while navigating the Strait of Malacca, off the coast of Malaysia. The caller identified himself as a member of the crew of the Orang Madan, a Dutch vessel, and supposedly he claimed that the ship's captain and crew were all dead or dying. The messages became jumbled and bizarre before trailing off and ending with the words, I die. The ships quickly raced to the scene to help, and when they arrived, they found that the Orang Madan was undamaged, but that the entire crew, even the ship's dog, was dead. Their bodies and faces, they were locked in terrified poses and expressions, and many were pointing at something that was not there. Before the rescuers could investigate further, the ship mysteriously caught on fire and then to evacuate. Soon after, the Orang Madan is said to have exploded and then sunk. While the details and the overall veracity of the story are still widely debated, there have been a number of different theories proposed about what might have caused the death of the crew. The most popular of these is that the ship was illegally transporting nitroglycerin or some kind of illegal nerve agent which was not properly secured and seeped out into the air. Others, meanwhile, have claimed that the ship was a victim of a UFO attack or some other kind of paranormal event. Number 7. The Carol A. Deering Perhaps the most famous ghost ship of the eastern seaboard is the Carol A. Deering, a schooner that ran aground near Cape Hatteras, North Carolina in 1921. The ship had just returned from a commercial voyage to deliver coal in South America and had last been spotted just south of Hatteras by a lightship near Cape Lookout. It ran aground on the notorious Diamond Shoals, an area famous for causing shipwrecks, and sat there for several days before any help was able to reach it. When they did arrive, the Coast Guard found that the ship was completely abandoned. The navigation equipment and logbook were missing, as were two lifeboats, but otherwise there were no signs of any kind of foul play. A massive investigation by the US government followed, which discovered that several other ships had disappeared under mysterious circumstances around the same time. Several theories were eventually put forward, the most popular being that the ship fell victim to pirates or rum runners. Others suggested that mutiny might have been the cause, as the Deering's first mate was known to bear some animosity towards its captain, but no definitive proof has ever been discovered. The mystery surrounding the ghost ship has encouraged wild speculation, and many have argued that paranormal activity might have been responsible, citing the ship's passage through the infamous Bermuda Triangle as proof that some kind of otherworldly phenomena might be to blame. Number 6. The Bay Chimo 
One of the most amazing cases of a real-life ghost ship concerns the Bay Chimo, a cargo steamer that was abandoned and left adrift in the seas near Alaska for nearly 40 years. The ship was owned by the Hudson Bay Company and was launched in the early 1920s and used to trade pelts and furs with the Inuit in northern Canada. But in 1931, the Bay Chimo became trapped in pack ice near Alaska and after many attempts to break it free, its crew were eventually airlifted out of the area to safety. After a heavy blizzard, the ship managed to break free of the ice, but it was badly damaged and it was abandoned by the Hudson Bay Company, who assumed that it would not last the winter. Amazingly, the Bay Chimo managed to stay afloat and for the next 38 years it remained adrift in the waters off Alaska. The ship became something of a local legend and was frequently sighted aimlessly floating near the frozen ice packs by Eskimos and other vessels. It was boarded several times, but weather conditions always made salvaging it nearly impossible. The Bay Chimo was last sighted in 1969, again frozen in the ice off Alaska, but it has since disappeared. The ship is believed to have sunk in the intervening years, but recently a number of expeditions have been launched in search of a now 80-year-old ghost ship. Number 5. The Octavius Although it is now considered more of a legend than anything else, the story of the Octavius remains one of the most famous of all ghost ship stories. The tale dates back to 1775, when it is said that a whaling ship called the Herald stumbled across the Octavius floating aimlessly off the coast of Greenland. Crew members from the Herald boarded the Octavius, where they discovered the bodies of the crew and all passengers frozen solid by the Arctic cold. Most notably, the crew found the ship's captain still sitting at his desk midway through finishing a log entry from 1762, which meant the Octavius had been adrift for 13 years. According to the legend, it was eventually discovered that the captain had gambled on making a quick return to England from the Orient via the Northwest Passage, but that the ship had become trapped in the ice. If true, this would mean that the Octavius had completed its passage to the Atlantic as a ghost ship, its crew and captain long dead from exposure to the elements. Number 4. The Joyita The Joyita was a fishing and charter boat that was found abandoned in the South Pacific in 1955. The ship, along with its 25 passengers and crew, were en route to the Tokelau Islands when something happened. It was not until hours later that the Joyita was reported overdue and a rescue attempt was launched. A massive air search was undertaken, but it failed to find the missing ship, and it was not until five weeks later that a merchant ship stumbled upon the Joyita, drifting some 600 miles off its original course. There were no signs of any passengers, crew, cargo, or life rafts, and the ship was damaged and listing quite badly to one side. Further inspection by authorities found that the ship's radio was turned to the universal distress signal, and a search of the deck uncovered a doctor's bag and several bloody bandages. None of the crew or passengers was ever seen again, and the mystery of what happened to them has never been revealed. The most popular theory is that pirates killed the passengers and then threw their bodies overboard, but other claims have included everything from mutiny and kidnapping to insurance fraud. Number 3. The Lady Lover Bond the UK has a long tradition of legends about ghost ships, and of these, the Lady Loverbond is perhaps the most famous. As the story goes, the Lady Loverbond's captain, Simon Peel, had just gotten married and decided to take his ship out on a cruise to celebrate. He brought his new bride along with him, going against a long-standing seafaring belief that bringing a woman on board is bad luck, and they set sail on February 13, 1748. Unfortunately for Peel, his first mate was also in love with his new wife, and after watching the celebrations, the man became overwhelmed with rage and jealousy and intentionally steered the boat into the deadly Goodwin Sands, a sandbar notorious for causing shipwrecks. The Lady Loverbond sank, killing all on board. As the legend goes, ever since the wreck, the Lady Loverbond can be seen sailing the waters around Kent every 50 years. It was sighted in 1798 by a few different ship captains, as well as in 1848 and 1898, when it supposedly appeared to be so real that some boats, thinking it was actually a vessel in distress, actually sent out life rafts to help it. The Lady Loverbond was again seen in 1948, and while there were no confirmed sightings of its most recent anniversary in 1998, it continues to be one of the most well-known ghost ship legends in all of Europe. Number 2. The Mary Celeste Undoubtedly the most famous of all the real-life ghost ships, the Mary Celeste was a merchant ship that was found derelict and adrift in the Atlantic Ocean in 1872. The ship was in a seaworthy condition, with all its sails still up and a full store of food in its cargo hold, but its lifeboat, Captain's Logbook, and more importantly the entire crew mysteriously vanished. There was no sign of a struggle, and the personal belongings of the crew and cargo of over 1,500 barrels of alcohol were untouched, seemingly ruling out piracy as a possible explanation. 
In the years since its bizarre discovery, a number of theories have been proposed regarding the possible fate of the Mary Celeste's crew. These include that those aboard were killed by a water spout, that the crew mutinied, or even that eating flour contaminated with fungus led all the passengers to hallucinate and go mad. The most probable theory remains that a storm or some kind of technical issue led the crew to prematurely abandon the ship and the lifeboat, and that they later died at sea. Still, the mystery surrounding the Mary Celeste has led to much wild speculation, and others have proposed every Everything from ghost ships to sea monsters and even alien abduction as possible explanations. Number 1. The Flying Dutchman in maritime folklore, no ghost ship is more famous than the Flying Dutchman, which has inspired numerous paintings, horror stories, films, and even an opera. The ship was first mentioned in the late 1700s in George Barrington's seafaring book Voyage to Botany Bay, and since then its legend has continued to grow thanks to numerous sightings of it by fishermen and sailors. As the story goes, the Flying Dutchman was a vessel out of Amsterdam that was captained by a man named Van der Decken. The ship was making its way towards the East Indies when it encountered dangerous weather near the Cape of Good Hope. Determined to make the crossing, Van der Decken supposedly went mad, murdered his first mate, and vowed that he would cross the Cape, even if God would let me sail to Judgment Day. Despite his best efforts, the ship sank in the storm, and as the legend goes, Van der Decken and his ghost ship are now cursed to sail the oceans for all eternity. To this day, the Flying Dutchman continues to be one of the most sighted of all ghost ships, and people from deep sea fishermen to the Prince of Wales have all claimed to have spotted it, making its never-ending voyage across the oceans. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and do not forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. For more from me, why not check out my other channel called Biographics? You will find that linked to below. And as always, thank you for watching.